walking into car heaven right now, guys. If you're a car guy, you know this heaven for us. This one is for all the bros out there. But I just want to point out while going in here. I was having a rev battle with a Maserati Like we were legit like revving at one another That was pretty awesome. That kind of made my night. That was actually really awesome Here I have why you guys clicked on this video. Actually, I think the shot looks a little bit better with the lights on so bye bye Better. Actually, first, you guys might think this is clickbait. It's not clickbait. It actually happened, and as you can see, we're we're here together, so we're good. So with that said, on November 15, 2017, 8:20 a.m., that's when that incident happened. Actually, I don't even think I've introduced the video yet. So what is going on, bros? Today's kind of like a short video up here at the rooftop. I haven't been here in a while. If you're a true OG, you probably remember I've been here before, but. Just a nice chill video. So I had a class that very early morning and this is my first semester in college. And so it started off with me getting up. Um, I went to the gym very, very early, like at five in the morning. You get, you guys hear that? So then after that, I went home, I ate, and I was actually kind of late because my class started at, I think it was 8.45 or nine, but my girlfriend was at school waiting for me, so. I had to head over there fast, so I ate fast, I got dressed, everything, and got in Brittany and just went over there. Okay, so I left to go to school like around, I think it was like 7.50 in the morning. So I'm on my way to school, everything's fine, and then I'm driving, right? I'm on that road. I think last video I showed you guys and I was like, oh, this is the road that I first ever got pulled over in. And this road was the first time I ever got pulled over in. So I was driving and there's Mustang, there's a... 2016 EcoBoost, I'll never forget that guy. If you're watching this video, bro, you saw me get full doors. <laughs> it was like a 2016, 2015 Mustang EcoBoost. It was white with black rims. It was actually really clean. So, I'm driving normally and this guy keeps tailgating me, tailgating me, tailgating me. Like really bad guys, like I'm driving and it doesn't matter what lane I go in, he went behind me and just tailgate me and tailgate me. So, I keep driving and I don't know what happened. I don't know what got into me. I decide to downshift. I was in fifth, I downshifted to fourth, downshifted to third, went in the right lane, he was in the mid lane, went in the right lane and just gunned it guys. You know what I'm talking about, gunned it out, I just went with everything. Third gear, went, 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 and maxed out third gear, then fourth gear, I was still going in fourth gear, like I cannot believe I actually did this back then. Back then I was a lot more of an aggressive driver, right now, like recently I calmed down a little bit after that, like which has been already a year, but back then I was like not a very safe driver but I wasn't to the point where I was like a really big douchebag that always cut everybody off but I did it from time to time and just like that we're getting kicked out boys so in case you guys missed what just happened the guy basically came up to me and said I couldn't do the video up there anymore so there's that let's continue talking while at the top so I third line third gear then I third line almost third line fourth gear and then I had to make a right on that street so I started slowing down slowing down slowing down and and then I see a truck like chasing me and I was like, whoa, what's going on right now? And then, <sighs> turn on the lights. <laughs> Guys, he turned on the lights. I was like, in my head, I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I was definitely hitting a little <laughs> good amount over three digits. Um, I'm done. So I pulled onto the side of the road. Thankfully there was space where nobody would hit me and it wasn't really dangerous with the traffic. And I roll my window down. He comes up to me. First thing he tells me is, man, what were you doing? I'm not even supposed to be pulling people over. Because he told me he was like some kind of officer. I wish I could tell you guys right now, but I don't really remember very well. But he told me that he doesn't pull people over. Like he, he hasn't pulled people over in like a long time. So I don't really know what kind of officer he was. But he said that obviously if I'm going that fast and doing those things that he had to pull me over. So that's probably why I didn't notice there was a cop behind me. But... Then he told me that, and my favorite part of this whole thing that I'm gonna tell you, he said, if you've never been pulled over before, then I'm not gonna give you a ticket. I'm just gonna lay you off with a warning, which, oh, thank God, bros, I had never been pulled over before, so I was let off with a warning. 
driving carelessly. Ah, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna show you guys. As you can read right there, it says careless driving. Then on the die it says speed warning, exceeded speed limit by a lot. And then it says weaving in and out of traffic at excessive speed, causing other drivers to take action to avoid. <laughs> Casey Bros think I'm lying or something, as right there it says. It was a 2009 Nissan 370Z, two-door coupe, and right there it says Danny Lee, and then warning date issued, um, November 15, 2017, 8.20 a.m. And actually, I don't really want to miss out on some details that actually made me sad. This whole situation not only made me scared, but it made me sad. And I was like, I'm not like this. I should. I really need to stop. Cause, bros, I actually forgot to touch on, but I'm glad I left it for the end. Cause this is something that actually made me sad and I didn't like it all. So, when he pulled me over, actually, two trucks stopped by him, like went near him, stopped the car, and told him that they always see me speeding and cutting in and out of traffic. <laughs> that is even worse. Like, imagine getting pulled over and people man, <laughs> stopping next to the cop and telling them how bad of a driver you are. That was, that broke my, that made me so sad. And I don't feel like it's true, like, I'm not, I, was, I never always drove like that. And then another thing is, he told me that four people had called 911, telling them that I was recklessly driving because, and giving them my license plate. After I heard all that, my, my whole day was ruined. I was, I didn't even care if I got the ticket. I just felt horrible for those people and that I was actually driving like that. So, yeah, I just really wanted to share that fact for you guys because I felt like, Horrible after he told me that people actually called 911 to tell him that I was driving bad. And after that, I told him that it was really immature of me, that that would never happen again, that I don't usually drive like that, that was very immature of me, um, that I don't know what I was thinking, things like that, which I actually meant, guys. I was, <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? I was like, super, ah, it was bad. And then we went back to the car, and obviously, like any typical cop, it took like 20 minutes to get back to me. <laughs> so I was already late for class, and my girlfriend was still waiting for me crying because she was just scared of what happened because I texted her and I told her, oh, I got pulled over. So it was it was a bad situation. <laughs> but yeah, back to the topic. If I had gotten pulled over before that, that would have been bad, guys. That would <laughs> that would not have been a warning. I probably could have gone to jail. My parents would have probably taken my car, no more Z's, no more videos, no more nothing. <laughs> Dang, that would have been bad. Thankfully, Nothing happened, but we did learn from our mistakes. Sometimes to learn from your mistakes, you don't. nothing horrible has to happen. Just a good scare like this is enough to make you learn. So I just took like a little break from making the video and I tried to do the thumbnail and bros, the camera just fell from like the tallest height. <laughs> like everything fell out, the SD card, the battery, everything fell out. Thankfully it's good though. That's basically all I wanted to share with you bros. Let me know if you like story times like this. These videos are actually really fun to make, so if you do enjoy these videos, Give me a big thumbs up and let me know if you want more videos in the parking garage at night. And if you're a true bro and you made it this far into the video, I haven't done this in a long time, but comment down below a Z. And also, if you feel like it, you don't have to. Comment down below the, f the first time you ever got pulled over in. Oh my god. First car you ever got pulled over in. <laughs> oh my god, that's so loud. The moral of the story, bros, don't do anything stupid. Don't try to race other people. Or not even race, just don't try to go by other people really fast unless you know that it's a hundred percent clear like look 20 times make sure you're in a safe road then do it if you choose to do it but honestly don't do it it's not worth it I mean you might get a warning and get super lucky like I did but this doesn't always happen like right now if I get pulled over again for that it's basically GG it's over <laughs> so be safe guys be safe out there it's drive safely you're not putting just your life on jeopardy you're putting everybody's life on jeopardy i learned a lot from that experience it was very bad <laughs> it's been like over a year now but still to this day i don't really do a lot of crazy things anymore all crazy things go ahead and head home now i'm like super tired hope you guys enjoyed that video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a big thumbs up share with everybody bros what are you doing if you haven't subscribed yet what are you doing <laughs> i'm just kidding i love you guys thank you thank you so much for supporting and as always from Brittany and I, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Be safe out there. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart.